Right. So let's get to getting to know you. All right. I, mm -hmm. So. <laughs> like, all right. We're going to try. <laughs> so everyone has like their own individual story on how they get, how they got into fashion. So how did you get into fashion? Like what's your fashion story? I don't honestly, I don't know, but I just grew up with like my mother and my sisters are very into fashion. Mm -hmm. My mom was into her designer bags and all the things. And I was just like, okay. And I liked how she put things together and she was very conservative. Like, right. so nothing was really revealing. And I kind of took that approach and I was like, I like that, but it was always like sophisticated. And like my older sister would always like buy things off of eBay vintage and we should put it together mm -hmm. I liked it so I just feel like fashion just came really easy to me it was very effortless and so something that I was like I always heard it was like do something that you would do for free right and I think fashion's one so I would do this for free like I like it I enjoy it, it comes effortlessly to me and I think I'm really good at it so I think at times like in high school than going to college I didn't know if I wanted to be a stylist or like have my own brand so I was kind of mm -hmm. going between the two but that's really like my store is fashion. Like it's really just like I saw something, I liked it. I did modeling too, to just kind of see if I like doing yeah. that. So, but yeah, girl, that's really my fashion store. I feel like my brand is really like around like sisterhood, mm -hmm. like my upbringing a lot. So like women around me, and so I really like look to that, and then I found a way to do it my way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone has like such a different story. So I just always like to hear like how did you how did you get into fashion? It don't matter like what aspects. Some people it's a you know it's a lot of people who come from like healthcare mm. background and then they just make a pivot. Some people come from styling or photography or whatever the case may be. So it's just always interesting, like how did you get into fashion? Yeah, it was just kinda like a I honestly didn't know about college. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to go. I told my mom, I was like, I'm not really, that's not for me. Right. She was like, you got to, you got to do something, Aisha. And I was like, okay, well, I will go to fit them. That's why I went to school. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, fashion, here we go. And I was like, okay. Because I really felt like you could do fashion without school. But I will yeah. say I am happy that I went there because like a lot of my resources that I got is from my institution, like my pattern makers and whatnot. So, I don't know, it just felt right, though, too. Like, even in high school, I would always get best dressed. So, I knew fashion was a lane, and it was just easy. But it was hard growing up because my mom and dad didn't really understand fashion. They were like, right. what career are you going to get out of this? How are you going to make a living? Like, they're kind of like, tell us, like, what are you doing? Right. And I was just like, just sit back and watch me work. And they were like, okay. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it all worked out, but... Mm -hmm. That's just kind of like, I feel like in a way, like in my journey, I'm on, I'm not saying I'm in this alone, but like I really didn't have anyone to look up or be like, okay, am I doing this correctly? It was kind of like, this is what I want to do. Right. And I'm going full fledged. Cause like all my other siblings, like one is into nursing, one's a lawyer, one plays um, baseball. So we're all doing different things. I mm -hmm. feel like mine is kind of just like out there different, but the artistic one, the creatives. Right. So they were kind of like, what is that? They don't yeah, know. Yeah, like, can you make any money, be living or anything? They're not, you know, you know, black parents are big on that. Of so, course. you know, just like, they're just like, what are we doing? So, yeah, that's kind of how I really got into it. Just really just by seeing my siblings and my mother and how they dress. I just liked how they carried themselves. And I was like, mm, I like that. And I want women to dress like that. Because I don't feel like you have to be always revealing. And so right. I just kind of took that into it and made it into a brand <laughs> right that's good you know a lot you know i'm a woman of color as well mm -hmm. so yeah the creative it's like mm, can you make any money from it do you have insurance do you have a pension like what about your retirement plan <laughs> and nowadays it's like you can do this on your own. Like you can set up your own type of retirement plan. Yep. When yep. if you go, if you're like um, reading up on like Fidelity Investment, that's what I do. Or you could just set up everything your own, and they're just kind of just stuck in their ways from the old ways. Right. And now, like this is going, we're going into like a freelancer type of or independent worker type of um, economy. So there is so many ways for us to kind of just 
do what we love to make it big enough to make it like our living and then right. you know make sure that we're good for future or if we come through like pitfalls and stuff like that mm -hmm. so that's good that you just follow through even though you're still how many siblings do you have I have three, so I'm the baby. I'm the youngest of four. Yes, yes. come on, baby. Uh, I, I, I'm the baby too. <laughs> oh, okay, yes. Yeah. All four. Yes. yes. So we get away with murder. And we do. <laughs> yes. Yes. I loved it. 